Want to know a better way to beat stress, fatigue, and get better sleep? Magnesium. The one I use is Magnesium Breakthrough from BioOptimizers. It helped me relax more, stress less, and sleep deeper. What's not to love? When you get all seven critical forms of magnesium, your body gets a serious upgrade from your brain to your sleep, pain and inflammation, and muscle tension. Guys, I know taking care of your body and your brain is more important to you than ever. And with this one simple action, you can start feeling the benefits quickly. This stuff really works. I want you to check it out. Go to magnesiumbreakthrough.com slash chael. That's going to get you a 10% discount with the promo code chael10. So click on the link in the description or pinned comment to claim your discount and try the power of magnesium for yourself. Eugene Berryman. Perhaps the most successful coach right now in the sport. I know that's musical chairs, right? Who the hot and the cool guy is. But it is perhaps Coach Berryman, who's got two world champions. That's just up off the top of my head. Volkanovsky, Adesanya. So you got somebody else in there. And he's got like 12 guys under contract at the UFC. When I came through Team Quest, we were a wildly successful gym. And we would have four to six guys at any one time within a major organization, UFC or Pride. He's got 12 guys just that I know of. So unbelievably successful guy, but he's also very outspoken. He made a quote today that I love and I want you guys to hear it. He was talking about Adesanya, and the question had to do with Adesanya returning to 205 pounds. Coach Berriman said, and I quote, goals don't go away just because you fail. Love that quote. I want you guys to hear that. And he's right. He's right. For the real driven guys, he's right. The one thing that I have learned about Adesanya, and I appreciate it more than anything else about him, is he's a competitor. He wants to go out and compete. It made no sense for him to fight Yoel Romero. Yoel was coming off a loss. A skinny kickboxer from New Zealand versus an Olympic wrestler from Cuba. I mean, right, it's pretty obvious how this is going to go, and Adesanya did it to himself. Because he's a competitor. Adesanya tried to fight John Jones. Adesanya went up to take on Blahovich, and now his coach is talking about, will he go back? His coach is saying yes. I will predict for you he doesn't go back. And I will go further predict for you to guarantee for you he doesn't go back in the next three years. But his coach is talking about the mere idea that he still would and he would still want to. The only reason I make that prediction, Adesanya is barely big enough to be an 85-pounder. He will never weigh 205 pounds. He just won't weigh it let alone want to pull down or cut. It's just he's got the wrong body frame. He can stop everything he's doing and lift and the creatines and the proteins. That he can't get to 205 pounds. So I just don't I think he'll stay right at 185. But I still think that it's a very interesting piece of the mindset of Adesanya and company that he wants to compete and he wants the hardest matches. He wants to grab as, as many victories and the most hardware as he can. I think when you see the mindset and the idea of a guy and then you look back to yesterday's news, which is that he just signed a long-term massive contract extension. It seems like those go hand in hand. There are rewards for being a guy who can be counted on. There are rewards for being a guy that's going to represent a division, let alone the organization, in a certain and positive way. I just don't want you guys to miss the Adesanya story. I don't want you to not see what's going on here. For his own coach to say that they're looking for bigger challenges, that's what that is. He didn't use those words. He knew you have bigger challenges, but that's exactly what that is, that he is not satisfied. All champions are satisfied. Of course you are. You've already achieved your goal. Your goal is to be champion. There's nowhere else to go. You've made it to the top. You're done. Then you get the really good guy, the really driven guys that want to defend it a time or two, and then they're done. Adesanya's just getting going on that journey. He's done everything that I just said, interim champion, undisputed champion, multiple times defending the championship, and is now looking to go back up and be a 205-pound champion. It's a mindset, guys. It's got nothing to do with his skills. Is he good enough to do it? Is he big enough to do it? Who gives a goddamn? That's between them. What has now been revealed for us, the viewer, is that he's got the mindset, and there's something that sets the great ones apart. The greats all have something, and if you sit and talk to him long enough, you're going to think he's Fruit Loops, but they all are to some degree. They're wired differently. And most greats do have some commonalities, and we see it a lot when a guy gets to the top, which is he just wants to hold. It's called being a closet champion. He grabs the belt and he goes hides. Comes out and does a box. Comes out and does do MMA. Adesanya is anything but that. Adesanya is trying to get himself beat. 
And he's trying to get himself beat in the hardest matches because he's trying to get better. He's trying to get better almost because he doesn't know he's already at the top. It's very refreshing. It's a great thing. I just want you guys to be aware of it. I want you to see it. Why does this guy get the great big contract? Well, how do we not know his contract was up? Let's start with that. How about he didn't go to the media and bitch and complain and start negotiating publicly? How about he did it professionally? Let's start like that. Secondly, why is he main event? Why is he always the main event? Why, no matter what card is he on, does he walk out last? There's reasons, and you can count on him. He's going to show up. Why is there not a backup fighter in place for this match? Well, because you're 50 cent secured anytime Adesanya's in the bill. He's going to walk out there no matter what, and that's 50 cent percent more secure than you are in any other match. There's reasons for it. But I want you to see, and I want you in on the mindset. We all see the skills, and we appreciate it. From the dancing to the moves, to the lefts and the rights and the kicks. But everybody else can do that. Maybe not as well or to the degree, but everybody else is following the same rules. There's more here with Adesanya. And I think that Coach Berryman, by saying, dreams don't go away just because you fail. He will return to 205 pounds. I think he's letting us in on what's very special about this city kickboxing team. 